Welcome back. We all know teens spend a lot of time on screens, but now the CDC has some exact numbers. Michael George has more on what parents need to know. Teens are spending more time in front of screens in recent years. Now new findings from the CDC show about half of teens had four hours or more of daily screen time. Research shows actually that social media use is more likely to have harms if it exceeds three hours per day. So I think those rates are concerning. High amounts of screen time have been linked with poor sleep, fatigue and anxiety and depression. This survey finds about one in four teenagers with four hours or more of daily screen time experienced symptoms of anxiety or depression in the past two weeks. Dr. Tamar Mendelson with the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health says parents need to understand what social media use is healthy and unhealthy. And is it interfering with the day-to-day -day kinds of activities that promote positive development for young people? So that includes healthy bedtimes, having dinner with your family, spending in-person time with friends, and doing sports and, and other after-school activities. Dr. Mendelson adds that parents should set boundaries and limits and keep the lines of communication open. During COVID, I kind of looked at my screen time and I was like, wow, I'm spending more than half of my time awake on my phone. Something needs to change. This group of teens is part of the Luddite Club, formed at some New York City schools, named after a 19th century movement opposing industrialization. Former teacher Amanda Hannah McClear is now making a documentary about the teen's commitment to kick their phone habit. When there's no phones around, at a Sunday meeting, they are drawing, painting. Helping teens develop more connections in real life. Michael George, CBS News, New York.